Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. Today we are going to do the problem which is called special matrix. Let's try to understand this problem. So there is a starting point of a matrix which is the first cell of the matrix, right? And then there is an ending point in the matrix which is the last cell of the matrix. Now the additional part in this question is there are going to be some blocked cells. For example, uh, let's say these cells are blocked. Now you have to find out how many ways are there from the start to reach the end. For example, this is one of the ways. Okay, this is one of the ways, this is one of the ways and so on, right? Now you can only travel right or down. First of all, the first condition is you can only go right or you can go down, right? That's it. You can never go up, you can never go up, you can never go left. Okay, these are not allowed. You can only go down or you can only go right. So for example, this is one of the ways to start from the start cell and reach the end cell. You have to find the number of ways to reach from the start to the end cell. Now this is a very famous problem. Uh, like find the number of ways uh, to reach from the start cell to end cell but in this problem they have added only one complexity which is they have added some blocked cells now how do you solve the problem okay let's say there are no blocked cells then how did you solve the problem so if there were no blocked cells this is a question which is very famous uh, how do you uh, solve the problem uh, you just basically use dynamic programming that is let's say i want to find the number of ways to reach this end cell right so from where can i come i can only come from this cell or only from this cell okay because i can only travel what I can do if I have to reach the end cell right uh, please um, I mean try to understand this carefully we have to reach the end cell there are only two ways you are either coming from the top or you are coming from the left because because it is given in the matrix you can only travel right or down right you can only travel right or down so you are either coming from this cell or coming from this cell so let's say there are two ways from uh, to reach up to this cell and there are three ways to reach up to this cell so the number of ways to reach the end cell is 5 it's just 2 plus 3 which is equal to 5 right this is the entire basis to solve this problem okay this is the entire basis to solve this problem now let's try to uh, understand how do we solve this problem let's first consider the case where there are no blocked cells then what we will do we will add blocked cells and then we will make the final answer okay first when there are no no block cells right how many ways are there to uh, let's just consider the first row right there is simple only one way to reach any of the cell in the first row there is only one way you can never travel like this you can never travel like this you can never uh, travel up or you can never travel left right so only the way only way to uh, reach any cell in the top row to any cell in the first row right is only one way there is only one way right what is that one way simply travel like this simply travel right only one way for the top row so you will fill one similarly for the for this row similarly for this row right you can never travel like this you can never travel any other way there is only one straight way which is travel down right so for all the cells in the first row and in the first column there are only one ways only one way only one way to reach okay only one way to reach any of the cell now let's consider this cell now in this cell how many ways are there now in let's consider this cell this cell you can reach uh, where these two cells right so you can so so see let me write out the ways either you travel like this okay or you travel like this so there are two ways okay there are two ways to reach this cell from the starting cell what are the two ways either you travel right and then down or you travel down and then right how do you get these two ways just one plus one is equal to two right you know there is one way to reach here and one way to reach here so if you add uh, the number of ways you get two ways okay now how many ways are there to reach this cell there are two plus one three ways okay what are those three ways let's see those three ways see first way is like this okay simple second way is like this second way is like this and there is one more way first travel right then travel down then travel right okay so there are totally three ways to reach this cell how do you get three just two plus one is three because up to this cell you can take two ways right you can take two ways up to this cell you can take one way so if you just add these two ways and this one way you get three ways okay so basically now the logic is very simple once you know the number of ways to reach this cell and this cell just add those so 2 plus 1 is 3 similarly here 3 plus 1 is 4 so to reach this cell there are 4 ways here 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 here 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 here 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 okay next cell 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 next cell 4 plus 6 is equal to 10 okay last cell 10 plus 10 is equal to 20 so there are totally 20 ways to start from the beginning and reach this end cell okay there are totally 20 ways to start from the start cell and reach the end cell when there are no blocked cells but if there are blocked cells what are you going to do if now we are going to add blocked cells now what are you going to do let's try to see in that case okay let's just add some random blocked cells now let me say that i add a blocked cell let's say here okay let's say i add a blocked cell here 
and let's say I add a block cell here and just adding some random block cells okay now let's totally try to find out what are the number of ways okay to reach the end cell from the starting cell so we'll start with the same approach what we'll do let's start with the top row right in the top row what you can do from the first cell there is one way to travel but at this point at this point what happens at this point there is no way at this point you, there is no way so you can never reach this cell so for this cell the answer is going to be zero because you can never reach this cell right if if this cell is blocked if this cell is blocked you can never travel you can never travel like this this is not allowed you can never travel up there was only one way to reach this cell and that way is also blocked so if this way is blocked for this cell it will be zero similarly consider for this cell this way is blocked so for all the cells below it will be zero okay now let's try to uh, think for this cell now for this cell what is happening can think of this cell now in this cell from the top you have one way right but from here you don't have any ways so there is only one way which is coming this way right coming from the top you can only come from the top from from this side the cell is blocked right so there is only one way because at the top you have a way okay now let's try to think of this cell now what will happen in this cell in this cell also the up way is blocked right you cannot come from above but you can come from the left side so there is one way now let's think of this cell now for this cell the answer is one plus zero so it is one now let's think of this cell the answer is what zero plus one the answer is one now let's think of this cell what is the answer one plus one one plus one is what one plus one is two so the answer is two now let's think of this cell what is the answer two plus one two plus one is three there are going to be three ways okay now let's think of this cell now this cell is blocked so here you don't have any ways but you have two ways from the top so the answer is two now let's think of this cell so two plus three is equal to five so the answer is five okay so now since there are three block cell the number of ways to reach from the start to end is what is five so it's significantly reduced from 20 when you introduce block cells okay let's take one last example let me again introduce some block cells so let's try to calculate the answer and then we'll move forward to coding it okay let's introduce some block cells let's say i have blocked a cell here and let's say i block some cell here and let's say i block some cell here okay that's it now let's again try to calculate the answer for this problem so let's first fill the top row there will be one ways in the top row till you reach the till you see the block cell okay similarly in the uh, top column there will be one ways okay now let's fill for this cell for this cell what is the answer one plus one one plus one is what two for this cell what is the answer 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 is what 3 now for this cell what is the answer here you don't have any answer there is no way to reach from this part this cell is blocked so the only answer is from the left side so it's 3 now let's think of this cell what is the answer 1 plus 2 what is 1 plus 2 3 now let's think of this cell this cell is blocked okay now let's think of this this cell there is no way to reach from this side we can only come from here so the answer is 3 now this cell is blocked okay let's think of this cell so this is blocked this is blocked so the number of ways is 0 okay now let's think of um, uh, this cell this cell is 0 plus 3 so the number of ways is 3 okay so it's significantly reduced again the number of ways is only 3 okay so that's it now let's try to move forward to coding it so so we are coding uh, it so we will declare a matrix right we will declare a matrix which will store the number of ways okay so which will store the number of ways let me write it as number of ways to reach any of the cells okay so this matrix will also be of the size n cross m and what we will do initially we will say that there are zero ways to reach any cell now slowly we will fill this matrix number of ways which will give us the number of ways to reach any cell okay so let's first of all see which cells are blocked okay so whichever cells are blocked what we are going to do whichever cells are blocked just to keep a mark of that we will go and put minus one in this matrix okay at those positions we will go and fill minus one that means we know that if it is negative the negative number is not allowed there can be never negative number of ways okay so we will just store minus one so that it gives us a mark that this cell is blocked okay so what we will do first of all let me iterate over the blocked cells matrix let's iterate over the blocked cells matrix okay so for n j equal to 0 j less than 2 j plus plus okay now what is there so let's see the blocked cells matrix in the question 1 comma 2 if 1 comma 2 is blocked right what have they given in the question if 1 comma 2 is blocked they are representing they are representing this cell by 1 comma 2 according to them this cell is 1 comma 2 but 
okay according to them this cell is 1 comma 2 but what is the index of this cell this cell is 0 comma 1 actually right because we start from zero based indexing and so on but according to them according to them this is 1 comma 2 so th what they are doing is they have given um, uh, one based indexing but we need zero based inde indexing right so what we will do what are we going to do we will have to subtract one to get the zero based indexing so blocked cells of i 0 minus 1 this will be what this will be the x coordinate of the blocked cell similarly let me get the y coordinate how will i get the y coordinate so we have blocked cells of i 1 minus 1 why are we doing minus 1 they have given one based indexing we want it as zero based indexing so what we are going to do so number of ways let me mark it number of ways of x y is equal to what minus 1 because it's blocked we are going to keep a count there and we are going to say it's minus 1 it is going to keep a mark negative there can never be negative number of ways means that that cell is blocked okay. now let's go forward to coding it so first let's fill the let's fill the first row let's fill the first row so if there have been no blocked cells right um, so um, sorry first I am filling the first column first I am going to fill the first column if there had been no blocked cells if there was no blocked cells then all of the cells would have been one in this because there's only one way to reach any cell in the first column but since there are blocked cells so what we will do we will check if the number of ways is minus one right if the number of ways is any time equal to minus one we can break we can no longer travel any further right we can no longer travel any further see if 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 I say the cell is blocked right that means number of ways for reaching all of the cells below is zero okay reaching all of the cells below is zero if if any of the cell is blocked how will I ever reach the below cell because there's only one way to reach uh, these cells right which is come come down but if any of the cells in between is blocked there is no way to reach any of the further cells below so I am just going to break that set otherwise I am going to make the number of ways equal to one because in the first row if there had been no blocked cells then naturally there would have been only one way to reach right so let me write it here if there have been no blocked cells then naturally you would have got one way to reach but if there are blocked cells let's break you can never travel further down okay let's do the same thing for the first row so let me do the same thing for the first row okay so let me do the same thing for the first row so j less than m j plus plus now what is the first row first row is 0 comma j now again if it is minus 1 we can break else we can let me just copy the statement so instead of i 0 i have 0 comma j so it is 1 right now let's write uh, for the cells after the first row and first column right till now we have written for the first row and first column now what do we have remaining we have the remaining cells so let's iterate over the remaining cells apart from the first row and first column so from the second row and second column let's iterate so what do we have to do here we have to just add the number of ways right from the top cell and from the left cell so what do I mean by that you have to find the number of ways uh, let me write a matrix which will simplify the problem okay let's say that you have some matrix like this okay let's say you have to find uh, let me write a little bit bigger matrix so that it's more clearer yeah so uh, let's say you have to this is the matrix and you have to find the number of ways to reach this last cell from the top cell okay now let's say this top cell is what um, so uh, so the number of ways first of all in the top uh, row let's say they are 1 1 1 okay let's say no cell is blocked in the top column also they are 1 1 1 now for this uh, uh, cell what is the number of ways you are just adding from the left and the top cell so 1 plus 1 is 2 similarly for this cell 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 so here 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 and here 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 so the total number of ways to reach any cell right to reach any cell ij how do you get it first of all you add two values what are the two values to get the answer for this cell you add two values one is from the top cell one is from the left cell so what is the top cell i minus 1 i minus 1 j right and what is this cell what is this cell so the left cell is just i j minus 1 so to get the number of ways to reach i comma j we just add uh, the number of ways from i minus 1 j and i j minus 1 if there are no blocked cells 
if there are blocked cells what are you going to do okay let's say what if this cell is itself blocked then it's just minus 1 okay so first let's consider the case if dp of i j is itself blocked right what do you have to do you have to continue it's a blocked cell there are no ways to travel to this blocked cell okay now what if okay now consider the case what if this cell is blocked the top cell is blocked right in that case if you add 3 and minus 1 you will get 2 which is wrong which is wrong because uh, you are marking this as minus 1 right so you have to give the condition check if dp of i minus 1 j it should not be equal to minus 1 right if it is equal to minus 1 you don't have to add the number of ways here the answer in this case will just be 3 for example in this example right consider this example let's say the top cell is blocked then only you have to take the values from the left cell so the answer will just be 3 because you have 3 ways coming from the left side so if this is not equal to minus 1 then only you have to add the values coming from the top cell so that's it right similarly you have to give the condition check for the for the left cell also if dp of ij minus 1 not equal to minus 1 right because if this is also equal to minus 1 that means the number of ways to reach this cell is 0 if both of them are minus 1 that means you don't have to add this value also if it is not minus 1 you have to give this condition check if it is not minus 1 then only you can add the values which are coming from this cell that's it okay so uh, I have given dp by the way actually the uh, we have named the matrix number of ways so let me just name it number of ways so that it gets accepted uh, so let me just change the name quickly to number of ways number of ways number of ways number of ways okay now let's finally return our answer so what is our answer answer is just the number of ways to reach the last cell right which is n minus 1 m minus 1 but since it can be a very large number we also have to do mod 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 right 10 power 9 plus 7 we have to do mod with this value which is given in the question let's submit and see it should work so it's not working okay so it's not working because if it is minus 1 we have to give the output as 0 right i have left it as minus 1 so let's give a condition check here if this value is equal to minus 1 that means there are no ways to reach the cell then you have to return the answer as 0 otherwise you can return the answer as this mod this large quantity okay let me sum it and see now we have to give the condition check also it's very important now it's working thank you for being patient